Everyone ready? I'm ready. Okay. I, I mean, you're ready. Yeah, it's not, ready. It doesn't matter if I'm ready. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! A year ago, the secretive company Faraday Future promised to impress us with an electric car that was unlike anything we'd ever seen. Instead, we got a completely static concept car that looked like the Batmobile. Now, the company has finally released its production model, the FF91. And as you can tell from the camouflage wrap and total lack of interior, they only had a beta car for us to test. Thank you very much. Hello, should I buckle up or we're probably not gonna be going that fast? Okay. Okay, car's driving itself now, it looks like. Faraday Futures FF91 just came out a couple days ago. Uh, we're here in the back seat. Uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. So you guys have, I think I, I saw that you have uh, somewhere along a, a dozen cameras, is that right? 13 cameras? Like Wait, we stopped and... again. Why did we stop? Oh, we're going back. Back into the spot. Oh, we're going in reverse. It's backing up into the spot? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. That's kind of bold. I don't, know, I don't know I would do that personally. Now, uh, what if I, so the car can park itself and uh, we just experienced that. That was pretty impressive. So, so you want, if you want the car to come back, you pull out the phone, tap, summon, or, and it comes back to you. This is gonna be something that's gonna be available uh, in the car, in the first production car when it ships in 2018. That's People will, will be able to park and, and have the car come to them at, at will. And now we are going back to the curb uh, and the car has stopped. It's a little difficult to get out still. That's all right. Thank you very much. The FF91 is also an incredibly high performance vehicle, boasting zero to 60 acceleration in 2.39 seconds, courtesy of its 1,050 horsepower. Faraday Future had no issue bragging about how much faster that was than exotic cars like the Ferrari 488 and Tesla P100D. I'm ready to go very, very fast. All right. Let's I need you to do me a favor though. Yeah. I'm gonna head straight for this barrier. Okay. And you need to say now when you want me to turn. Now when I want you to turn? Yeah. You ready for this? Okay, I'm ready. Don't let's let me do it. it. All right, let's go. Okay. Now. <laughs> you definitely turned a little bit later than I would have chosen personally, <laughs> but I don't blame you for wanting to show off what the car can do. So you guys said this car can go 0 to 60 in 2.39 seconds, right. is that correct? Am I ready? I'm ready. Okay. I mean, you're ready. Yeah, it's not, ready. It doesn't matter if I'm ready. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I think I left my stomach back there. Wait, yep, that's it right there. That's it, yeah, on the yeah, track. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was pretty fast. I mean, I didn't, I wasn't clocking it myself. I didn't have any sort of uh, uh, meters or, or, or devices to show how fast we were going and how quickly it happened, but it definitely felt about as fast as I've ever experienced. But here's the thing with Faraday Future. The company still has a lot of serious hurdles to overcome before people can take them seriously. It needs to finish its $1 billion factory. It needs to pay its suppliers, and it needs to tone down its rhetoric and gain some humility. Other electric car startups, like Lucid Motors, seem to have their feet more firmly on the ground. Building a car is really, really hard, and Faraday Future needs to tackle that before it can change the world. Okay, so we are scared. That's and good. Pork veteran. <laughs> it's a long car, but it feels like a sports car, right? Yeah. What do you think? Can we do donuts? Uh, maybe at a later date. <laughs> um, I yep. love donuts myself. 